filmmaker. He's been out in LA for a few years and uh, it hasn't gone well for him. And he decides to come back to New York, the East Coast, to be with his friend Andy and work on a documentary with him about Typhoid Mary. Typhoid Mary. Mary Malone. Her family immigrated to the United States in 1884 from Ireland. Her family died in a boat, so she became a poor orphan. She was taken in by a pedophile with typhoid. She started out as a cook and ended up as a sex slave. I guess he was kind of like a boy trapped in a man's body. You know, he'd, he'd been to film school with Mark, he was with his best mate, and he was, you know, so excited about being a filmmaker. EMF detector, EVP recorders. Infrared thermals, motion detectors, cameras, editing machines. We got everything man, we're good as gold. I guess he wasn't very successful at it, so he ended up taking up a job with Michelle's father. And just kind of losing his identity, losing who he really was and who he really wanted to be. You guys are going to shoot a documentary on an abandoned asylum, aren't you? Oh. That's what I thought. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, that's just wonderful work, Mark. I didn't see him. You didn't have to. She could see it in your face. Michelle is Andy's fiance, and she is a holistic vegan and she does not necessarily believe in ghosts but is interested in toying with the idea of the other world but it's only a two-man job but i could be an asset really how what you're gonna run the cameras for us believe it or not my mom when she was younger used to work as a psychic your mom i used to sneak down the stairs and watch my mom while she would hold seances with her girlfriends. Seances are a lot of crap. The story of Paranormal Asylum, which is inspired by true events, is basically the story of uh, two film school friends, Mark and Andy, who set out to investigate the mysterious disappearance of Typhoid Mary. If uh, Mary is recorded and buried at Northern Brothers Riverside Hospital, why, why are we searching for her spirit here at Hudson River Hospital? Well, history has a way of being wrong, my friend. Well, recently discovered documents revealed that Mary was secretly transported here after she had a stroke and was paralyzed on a boat that mysteriously disappeared. And they're going to interview in several key people who have been involved in the story of Typhoid Mary. While they're investigating those characters, unexplained events happen. 